Prime Minister Andrew Holness is reassuring the international business community that as the country works toward a post-COVID-19 era, it is proceeding with caution to reopen sectors of the economy. The Prime Minister says getting the economy to return as close as possible to full capacity is realistic, but the process will ensure the health and safety of individuals. I have two priorities. Priority number one is their health and safety, and priority number one is their livelihoods. So I don't see a trade-off between health and economy. I don't see the two things as mutually exclusive. You need healthy people to make the economy work, and a working economy gives you healthy people. Prime Minister Holness was speaking with the CNN business editor-at-large, Richard Quest, on May 14. Mr. Holness says the tourism sector is critical to Jamaica's economy recovery as it accounts for more than 50% of the country's foreign exchange earnings. As a result, he says plans are being put in place to accommodate a phased reopening of the sector. We have to plan in advance and anticipate when our largest uh, tourism market would be ready for us. Uh, what we would want is for the United States to be ready, Canada to be ready, Europe to be ready, and we are not. So we are preparing. You know, the, the tourism industry is very susceptible to global shocks. And this would not be the first global shock that our tourism industry would have. And indeed, uh, within the Caribbean countries, we are already okay. um, very much aware and sensitive towards these global shocks. So we are resilient. So Part of being resilient is so to plan for it. So what we're doing now is to ensure that we have the protocol. And as you have said, we are already figuring out ways how we can have um, controlled corridors of, of entry, uh, how to move our tourists safely from airports to hotels uh, so that they can enjoy our lovely beaches and our lovely people. Yep. Prime Minister Holness also responded to the possibility of Jamaica adopting the requirement of a COVID-19 medical certificate by visitors to the island. I think it's the information that is important. Uh, one, you want to have at least some health profile understanding of the visitor that is coming. And that process itself helps the visitor to be aware of the protocols that they would have to follow. Uh, and then we would begin to be able to see whether or not, you know, determine the risk profile of the visitor who is coming and the measures that would have to be in place on the Jamaica end to ensure that we can cater to any needs that those risk profiles would throw up. Prime Minister, thank you. I look forward to you and I continuing the discussion, preferably and hopefully on one of Jamaica's beautiful beaches. Thank you, Prime Minister. Well, I'm looking forward to that. Let me know when you're coming.